Terrorism today has spread across international borders, serving its sole purpose of disturbing peace and tranquility in the world. It has always destroyed the efforts of like-minded entities that relentlessly work to maintain peace across the globe. Recently, in a global address, Dennis Francis, President of the United Nations General Assembly, highlighted the pervasive threat of terrorism, acknowledging India's status as a victim of this destabilizing force. His remarks underscore the urgent need for concerted international efforts to combat terrorism and preserve global peace. We have a report. In recent years, acts of terror have transcended borders, leaving communities shattered and instilling fears in the hearts of people from different corners of the world. And the world is grappling with the damaging and destabilizing effects of terrorism. Dennis Francis, the President of the 78th Session of the United Nations General Assembly, called on Member States to unite in combating this global menace. Ambassador Francis, while talking about global terrorism, also termed India as a victim of terrorism. For several years, India has been itself battling terrorism with great determination. Acknowledging India as a victim of terrorism, Francis stressed international cooperation and highlighted the UN's anti-terrorism program. Terrorism is a global phenomenon. It is everywhere. Radicalization exists in places uh, where you would think it does not exist. Its effect on society uh, is damaging and destabilizing. It's not acceptable. I'm aware that India has been a victim of terrorism. Many countries around the world have. The United Nations has a program of action on, terror, on anti-terrorism. Requires all countries, all countries, all member states, uh, to honor their commitments under that program and to work collaboratively through exchange of information and in other means to minimize the possibility of, uh, of terrorism. Dennis Francis has embarked on a five-day visit to India. During his visit, President Francis, along with India's permanent representative to UN, Ruchira Kamboch, laid wreath at the 2611 Memorial in Taj Hotel in Mumbai, commemorating the victims of the 2008 terrorist attacks. On November 26, 2008, India suffered one of the deadliest terror attacks in its history. The orchestrated attacks were executed by 10 lashkar e taiba terrorists who sailed from the Pakistani port city of Karachi to Mumbai. The horrific attack continued for over three days before the Indian forces took down nine of these terrorists. Among their ranks, Ajmal Kasab was the only one captured alive. He too, however, met his fate at the hands of justice four years after the incident. The 2611 attacks claimed 166 lives, including foreign nationals, while around 300 people were left injured. Recalling the tragic incident at a Mumbai hotel during the 2611 attacks, Francis called on the international community to redouble efforts to eliminate global terrorism. I remember well uh, the incident uh, at the hotel in Mumbai, uh, in which several people lost their lives. Um, we must, as an international community, redouble our efforts to rid the world of international terrorism. Uh, uh, no one, no one can deny that terrorism is destructive. Uh, it undermines everything we try to do in the United Nations. The United Nations prioritizes development, prioritizes human rights, prioritizes the welfare and well-being of people. And terrorism sets out as an objective 
to instill fear in the hearts of people by killing people. That is not in keeping with the values and the, and the, and the ideals of the United Nations. India has been engaging with everybody around the world in order to curb this global menace. It has urged everybody to be on the same page when it comes to combating a common enemy. Moreover, at the United Nations, India has always voiced concern over the spread of terrorism and asserted that those countries that provide shelter to terrorists should be called out and held accountable for their deeds.